Target versus Walmart. Which store has the best exclusive Pokemon cards? Let's find out. Welcome back to the Poke Cave. Today, I'm going to be opening up two exclusive Pokemon collection boxes. And the best part is, I'm going to be giving away the pulls from each of these boxes to two lucky winners. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, all I have to do is, number one, smash that like button. Number two, subscribe to the channel. And number three, let me know which one of these collection boxes is your favorite. So our first contender is going to be Target's exclusive Mythical Squishy Premium Collection Box. And yeah, that's the real name of it. But I basically just want to see which one of these is the best bang for your buck. The second box we have up is a pretty fierce contender. It's the Reshiram and Charizard G. GX premium collection box only sold at Walmart. So I would just say this, the Target exclusive one definitely has like the best sort of like look aesthetically for the actual box. I mean, when I see that in a store, I want this thing because like, look at these squishies. You get three squishies in there. You got promo cards. That looks really cool. And then you get all the packs on the side here. I mean, who doesn't love all these mythical Pokemon? All right, let's get into it. And yeah, this will be given away to the first person. And then the second box is going to get given away to the second person. As always, I announce giveaway winners every Tuesday during the live streams. Make sure you guys check out the live streams, by the way, if you haven't been watching them. We have our whole collection here. It comes out pretty nicely. I see a lot of packs. That's always a good sign. And we got our squishies. Okay, this is actually kind of cool so we got the mu squishy it's definitely very squishy i don't know if it's stretchy but it's it's got the squishiness to it so this is this is really cool um and then we have our mu v that's a really nice looking card okay squishy you go over there let's check out the next one we got victini nice another very squishy squishy okay and we got our victini v card another card from a sword shield set not sure the exact one, maybe base or something like that, but this goes perfectly with our little squishy Victini. Then we got, finally, our squishy Selby. Which one of these is your favorite? Mmm, I might go with Mew. I gotta go with Mew Gen 1. But we also have our little card here to go with it. Regular V card. It's nice. It's nice. Just look, it just, it works well together i like it all right so to get started with this box our three cars with our three squishies you're looking at about 25 dollars in value just for this stuff right here but let's see what packs we have and just so you guys know i don't know the exact normal manufacturer suggested retail price on these i had to go on ebay and pay more than what that normally is but they're pretty hard to find in stores okay so let's get all our packs out. i think there's eight total so we got one evolving skies we got one chilling rain we got a battle size we got a really nice selection we got a vivid voltage so is it going to be one more of each of these maybe evolving skies Battle Styles, Vivid. Oh, okay, threw in a Rebel Clash in there too. So actually, you got five different sets in here. So Evolving Skies packs go for about five bucks each on the market. So you got about $10 in Evolving Skies. Our Chilling Rain goes for about $4 a pack. Battle Styles is a little bit less desired. So those go for about $3 a pack. That's $6 on the Battle Styles. Vivid Voltage is a pretty nice set. Those go for about $5 a pack. So that's another $10. And then finally, our Rebel Clash pack is about $5. So we have exactly $60 in value out of our first box from Target. And let's start cracking these open. We're going to start off with Evolving Skies. So yeah, again, I don't know the exact normal price on these. I couldn't find them on Target's website or anything. I'd assume it's maybe like $40, I want to say, or something like that. So you definitely get more value out of what you pay from buying them at uh, the normal retail price, which is always a good thing. But yeah, so $60 in value from the Target box is pretty solid. I'd assume it costs less than $60 when you buy it at the normal you know, Target store. I I'd guess maybe like a $40 box or something like that. So automatically, it's definitely a good buy, but we're gonna compare it to the Walmart box, which I think might actually do better, but make sure you stick around to the end so you can see how that one does. I know those Charizard cards are probably gonna bring it up quite a bit. Oh, starting off strong with our VMAX. Nice. The giant building is back. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, Flaffy. Pack number one, we got a hit. Doing good right off the bat. Let's go. A nice amount of packs in here as well, which I do like. So, Evolving Skies pack number two. Evolving Skies never gets old to open up, honestly. There's always a chase. I'm always looking for those last few cards <laughs> to try to complete the set. Floet. We got a Sharpedo. Okay. So we're going to go through those pretty quickly. And then we're going to move to Rebel Clash next. Let's see how we do. Rebel Clash don't really open up too often. But let's see how we do. This is upside down, I think. I don't know. Ooh, green and white code card. Okay, let's go. Oh, it was upside down. Now we're back to normal, I think. Scyther. Nose Pass. Come on, maybe that means there's something good in here. Durant. Ooh, not bad. Aldergross V card hit. I'll take it. Why not? We'll take regular V cards. I mean, out of main series sword shield sets, getting at least a V is solid. All right, so Chilling Rain's up next. Let's see how we do on this one. This is definitely a pretty popular set. It's definitely way up there, I would say, in the sword, sword and shield era. Say that like 10 times fast. Rock Rough. We got a Ghastly. A Ladybug. 
We got a Lapras. Moving into a Bayonet non-hollow. Oof. Let me know if you guys, by the way, if you'd want to see the pack trick on these packs or not. I haven't been doing it on these just because, like, the one thing I don't like about it is once I flip it over, you see the code card. So, like, you see it's a green code card, so that means you're probably not going to get any. Look at that back card. It's got, it's that, that back card's beat up. Some of these cards are beat up, actually. Wow. Um, but uh, if I do the card trick, a lot of times you see the code card, so it kind of kind of spoils it. That's, that's, like, one of the main reasons I don't really do it. Uh, we got a Spoink, a Bronze Ore, but let me know, guys, whatever you think, and a Bolton. Okay. Battle Styles. Let's see what we get out of this one. All right, Target. Am I the only one that calls it Target sometimes? Embor. That confused some people when I did a Target video the other day. Or when did I do that one? It wasn't the other day. Time flies. I don't know when I did that video. <laughs> that was a while ago, actually. All right. So we got our two Vivid Voltage packs left. But I like how the newer collection boxes and stuff like that includes a lot of different sets. I mean, we're seeing a lot of different Sword and Shield era sets in like a single collection box, which is always really nice. Whimsicott, non-hollow. Okay. Chonkachu on both the pack artworks. All right. Last pack out of this first collection box. We got a Beldum, a Blitzel. Come on. Let's go. Oh, Raikou. Nice. Amazing rare. Probably the best hit. And a Jolteon. Yeah. That's got to be my favorite hit so far without a doubt. Perfect. Raikou. And you can get those in the green code card packs. And yeah, the value is definitely going to change quite a bit when you if you decide to open the packs up. But that's what we got out of our packs. This is going to be giveaway winner number one stuff. Including those squishies and those other cards. Our next contender is going to be Walmart. Who might have got the better box if we're talking just solely on the cards. Because, I mean, that's going to be tough to beat a Reshiram and Charizard GX as well as the Jumbo version. It looks pretty sick, I got to say. Um, we don't get our squishies, but I think we might be all right on this one. All right, so let's see what's included in this box. Um, we do have one gold foil featuring Reshiram and Charizard. We also have the Jumbo one that says it's suitable for display. You get 10 booster packs in this one, which is actually two more than the other one, so that's already got a head start. And then a code card. All right, let's crack this sucker open and see what we got in here. This one looks pretty nice. So if you guys don't know, that Reshiram and Charizard card... A lot of people were wondering if we were ever going to get it in English, but we got it. We got it. That's got to be a crazy card. That alone is kind of worth it. We're, we're going to find out for sure, though. Dang, there's a lot of packs in here. It's stacked. Okay, let's see. Let me in. Let me in. There we go. Well, let me get this card out. Ooh, okay. Here it is. Here it is. Wow, that's a really nice card. Russia Man and Charizard GX. That is SM247. And we got to sleeve this one up. I am very curious as to what this card is actually valued at because that's just a sick combo. Reshiram and Charizard on one card. Double Blaze GX. Wow. Okay. So this actually is going for around $30 raw. So this is already a home run. Not just this though, but we do get the pro, uh, we do get the giant jumbo, giant, <laughs> giant card, jumbo card of the same one. And this goes for about $15. So just these two cards alone, you're looking at like $45 in value, which makes this actually a really good buy. Like just like just for these two cards already, it's crazy. And again, I don't know the normal retail price on these. I can't find it anywhere, but I'd assume it's probably not, a, it's not much more than that or probably around that. Just like the cards alone are just worth it themselves. There's a lot of packs in here too. We got three Evolving Skies booster packs. And yeah, these go for $5 a pack. So we're already at $60 total. So I'm going to say this is probably going to be the better buy for sure. If you're into having like some really nice promo cards and then even more packs. There's a lot of Chilling Rain here. We got one, two, three, four, and five Chilling Rain. Okay, wow. So you have another $20 in booster packs from Chilling Rain, which brings us to $80 in value. And then two Vivid Voltage, which are also around $5 a pack, which brings us to $90 total in value. So we can't base it off of just value alone because some people might love the squishies for the, for what they are and everything like that. So it kind of depends on what you like, but just based off of purely like of how much bang for your buck you're getting, I would say for sure the Reshiram and Charizard box is where it's at. As long as they're priced the same, which I think that they are for both boxes, we got to open up everything. Let's go. So Evolving Skies to start off here. We got some shots here at pulling some nice cards because we got a bunch 
uh, two more packs than what you get out of that other Target box. So I don't know. I might be going to Walmart, guys. What do you think? Let me know which one of these you think um, was the best. We got a Lilligant. And then the other thing I will say, too, though, is the Target one does have more different types of packs in there so there's only three different sets here but in the other box we actually had i think it was five different sets so if you like having different sets as well but i don't know i think i like this box more for the actual cards but then the squishy box i definitely love it just based like it's such a cool box and you get those squishies so it depends it depends but let's see what we get out of these packs again this is going to be for giveaway winner number two so make sure you guys enter the giveaway. All you have to do is smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and then leave a comment. Let me know which one of these collection boxes is your favorite. Which one do you prefer? Psyduck, and then we got a Talon Flame. So yeah, the Target box, the first one was about $60 in value. And then this Walmart box, you're getting around $90 in value. And I got to say that Reshiram and Charizard card is really nice. But I don't know. We might not get as good of hits out of this box. Let's see what happens. Gallade Reverse. And we got a non-hollow. Flaffy. Flaffy's in like every set. All the Sword and Shield sets. Not really, but in a bunch of them. All right, we're not doing too hot right now. We do have those Charizard Rush Hand cards to fall back on. But still, we got to get something. In K. Oh, no. Nothing so far. Nothing so far. Let's go. Come on. Give us a little something. We still got five more packs left, so we're halfway through our packs here. Diglett, come on. Deerling, Sneasel, Spiel, should we just give it away? Ooh, okay. That means there could be something good back here. Or just a hollow. We'll take it. At this point, we're, we're hurting for hits. We're hurting. Come on. Um, we're good. We got two more Chilling Rain, and then we got our Vivid Voltage packs to end it off. So, are we going to really strike out? I don't know. Let's find out. Score Bunny. We gotta be something. Come on. Oh, nice. Metagross VMAX. I am pretty happy with that. I'll take a VMAX. I'll take at least something. So we got you going over here. We can't forget. We gotta put you in here at this point. Because, <laughs> like, we're hurting right now. I'm even about to throw that jumbo in the back. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Come on. We gotta make up for these other packs right now. And then we move into Vivid Voltage. Cyborg. Oh, Slow King V. Okay. That works for me. We got a V Max of V. We got two more packs. This is where it all is going to turn around for us. You'll see. Oh, green and white. Okay. Maybe I will do the uh, pack trick on this one then. We'll take four from the back, go to the front. And we're starting off with the Lightning Energy. Come on. Dusk Lops. Rocky Helmet. C Dot. Ready? Joltik. Weedle. Oh, Colossal V Max. We're making up for it right now. Nice. Okay, three in a row. Two VMAXs and a V, and then let's end it with something good here. You just get one more nice hit. We'll be looking pretty solid. Come on. I think we can do it. Mudbray. Oh, it's a rude V. Not too bad. All right. So, our hits are right here. And, I mean, this has got to be my favorite. Even though we didn't pull it out of a pack, that's my favorite. But, yeah, guys, let me know what you think. That is going to do it. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one. Hey, you made it to the after party. If you want to watch more content, go this way. I mean, this way.